Hi and welcome back to your Basics 101 videos. In today's video I'm going to show you how to set up whitelisting filters in your Gmail account. We're also going to talk about spam filtering also. So I'm starting on the home page and you want to click, go up to your left hand and click on Gmail or you can type in gmail.com, either one will work. Once you come to that page, instead of going to the, you're going to go up and type in your username and password and this box is going to allow a cookie to remember you on this computer so that if this is your only computer you want to go ahead and click this box um, so now you don't have to it won't have to so now you won't have to type in your username or password every time that you come to gmail so click sign in and up here firefox is going to ask you if you want to remember this password go ahead and click remember and you can see the gmail has already sent me a few different emails um, what we're going to talk about is your inboxes and your filtering and what comes into those. So, I mean, so over here you can see the different folders that you already have. You have your inbox, you have your star, which is kind of your more important emails. Also, you have your sent mail. You can check on what you can check back and see what kind of items you've sent in the mail. Um, drafts is for your unfinished emails that you haven't sent yet, and spam. Spam is. What spam is, is there's groups that will collect lots of emails and then they'll send them to businesses and then they'll send you every kind of email offer there possibly can, such as Viagra or adult web services. And uh, most of the time you don't want to receive any of that. So what we're going to do is set up a filter. And um, so what's great about Gmail is it filters out a lot of spam without you even having to do anything. Um, Gmail doesn't like a lot of emails that say free or money. And since we deal with those in our money making, and in business we want to go ahead and set up filters for the email addresses that we want to receive mail from so what you want to do is go over to settings and left click and you want to go over here to filters and we want to go ahead and create a new filter and right here we can go ahead and put specifics of what we want to look for in a filter in this case we're just going to go with the from and we're going to type in I want to receive all emails from myself so I'm going to put John Dave and if I ever send myself an email I will automatically receive it it won't go to spam you can also do the twos or subjects or has the words in the email and then it will always be filtered that but in this case we're just going to go with the from and we're going to go to the next step and what this has is the options for the filter. Um, you can go ahead and skip the inbox and archive it, um, or you can mark it as red, which doesn't really help. But what we want to do is star it. So if I send myself an email, it will always have a star in it, so it will mark it as important. So we're going to go ahead and click star it. Other things that you can do is like apply this label, and so those will apply the labels of the different folders that you have. Um, also forward it to this email address if you have a second email address or delete it and that doesn't really help either unless you are get, getting a lot of spam and then that's a filter that's a spam filter that you're going to set up so say that you're getting a lot of um, Viagra email offers and you want to get rid of that all you have to do is type in Viagra into that form and then click delete it and no matter what if it shows Viagra in the email it'll delete it for you without even sending it to the spam folder so we're going to go ahead and click the create filter and this is just going to show that it matches from John Dave 151 it's going to star for us and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and send myself an email and sh see how that works okay I'm back as you can see I've received an email from myself it's been starred um, and this just shows that I, the filter was set up correctly I can go ahead and click on this and it shows that it is from me and it, we'll go ahead and push back and then if it's starred like we've done it and you've marked your starred ones as important you can just go to this you can just go to the starred folder and this will just show all the emails that you have starred if it's spam if you're receiving a lot of emails that you don't want to receive go ahead and click on the report spam go ahead and click on report spam if you receive an email from a spam source this will always send that email address to the spam folder so let's go ahead and mark me as report spam and we'll undo this at the end so, and click report spam and now send it to my spam folder if we click on spam as you can see it's right there we don't want to mark this as spam that was just an example so but if you ever make the accident of marking something as spam when it's really not you want to go ahead and check that 
and click on the button not spam and that will send it back to your inbox and as you can see it's back another thing is you will receive lots of spams and sometimes that's when you want to set up the whitelist filter so that you do receive those in your inbox lots of spams and sometimes that's when you want to set up the whitelist filter so that you do receive those in your inbox well i hope this has helped you with your knowledge of whitelist filters and spam thank you very much for watching